munchkins and viewers alike, it's me Munchie and welcome back to another Bad Cage review video. We are following the PetSmart's brand new line of tiny tail cages just to show you guys how I assemble them, how easy it is to put together, and what is the ups and downs of the cage. Now a lot of people out there that are new time hamster owners do not do their research or do not understand the importance in trying to get for better care pushed out to these big chain pet stores because we keep selling really tiny cages like the one I'm about to show you today which is the tiny tails comfy house people don't understand a small cage like this which we will be measuring today with the measuring tape is very stressful for a hamster and there has been research put out there about the dangers and stress levels of your hamster in tiny environments and it will shorten their life by a lot especially since studies have shown that one study was performed on how much a hamster runs on average per night they ran on average of five miles per night so even though we are keeping our small animals in tiny cages there is the appropriate size out there which is 450 square inches in the United States as a minimum so by the end of the video if you're still watching and like what I say there is a petition down below for anybody welcome to sign and they make some really good points as to why we are trying to ask for PetSmart to please listen to us when it comes for a push for better updated hamster care and this cage does stay on the side for our hamsters gerbils and mice. And just to let you guys out there know, this cage is not suitable for either of those because gerbils chew through plastic, so that's a very poor choice to be housing gerbils in plastic cages. And definitely for mice, even if you put one inside of here, this is below minimum for even just one mouse. So please don't fall for what the big chain pet stores say, meaning the company in general. Some employees will try to gear you towards the right path of choosing the correct cage. This one right here was $39.99, and that might seem like a lot to people people out there, kids or parents, but the reason why the big chain pet stores will not push out for better, updated, bigger cages is because they don't think you're going to spend money on them. Because we are only showing the next generation in proper care. So let's not stick to the 80s and 90s care that we all have had for the longest time. Now with the research that has been out there and presented to us, we need to get the voice out. So we are reviewing this bad cage and it does say here, seven transport tubes fits most size Syrian hamsters. So guess what I get to show you? You guys today I get to show you my biggest hamster not my personal hamster I'm a foster home for hamsters so I'll show you my biggest foster gal Hershey to see if she can really fit in something such as this she is 213 grams. That is well above average for a regular size Syrian being sold at pet stores. So we'll see how she likes it at the end of this video. It might break your hearts. Who knows? And just like in the last two cage reviews I did, I do want to share with you a little bit about what the box actually says back here. It says, warning, remove the pet's collar prior to use as if you have a collar with ID tags for your hamster. Always select the appropriate size and type of home for your specific pet. Here's the kicker right here. Gradually help your pet to accept the containment. Oh hey there Jimmy! Hey! So um, I'm gonna get you a nice bedroom alright? It's gonna be the size of your bathroom okay? And that's where you're gonna live, eat, breathe, and sleep and play your video games and do your homework. Yeah! You have to be in there. You have to. So accept the confinement. Let our hamsters tell us what they need, not us tell them what they need, all right? Because if we notice that they're not happy, we shouldn't be like, accept it, accept it, you're in here, you're in this situation, accept it. And by the way, if anybody does have these cages out here, just listen to what we say. I know that sometimes people are in denial because they think it's cute, they like it, they don't want to hear it, but I hope you guys understand. We're just trying to tell you that these cages might not be as adequate as you might realize because you're just not up to date. Oh, and by the way, any of these cages could be okay transportation cages. However, when it comes to transporting any of my foster hamsters, I take them in something such as this, where it's nice, quiet, and protective. So I don't wanna be looking around a really big cage when a transportation carrier is more suitable and it's quick and easy. However, I can understand if you were transporting, say, for like moving purposes, a very long distance, and you want them to have access to food and water. But this is okay as like a cage attachment. If 
you actually have a main cage that's at least 450 square inches to just make this possibly an attachment, as long as this is not the main cage. So here we go. Time to open this thing. So when I returned the last two cages, the castle and the rocket ship, I still cannot put everything back in the box. So I need to memorize how this goes in and out because I actually return these. 60 days with the receipt, I return the cages and exchange them for the next one. And when I finally run out of cages to review for this line, I might move on to other cages. But all cages bought will be returned to the store. The store has to RTV these because they are used cages and you cannot resell something that's been previously used and or broken so they have to spoil the product. So none of this is going into the store's pocket. They're actually losing money. So this one, the comfy house, actually has kind of a loft design to it. So we'll see how well the loft design holds up and how big it is because I'm very curious. The important styrofoam. So if you guys have noticed, if you watched the other two reviews, that the wires were a lot bigger, the cages were a lot bigger. But I have heard a few people say they bought the comfy house, so I want to actually build it to see how comfy is this house really. Of course, in all of them, we have the instruction booklet, which is actually very handy. Stickers, because you're gonna make this a house, right? 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 Yeah, no, no, <laughs> not for me. Stickers for you, the child, because uh, this is geared towards children and it looks like a toy. Ugh. Oh man, where is it going? All right, we got a red bottom. Let me turn it around so you can see the nice logo sticker right there. How come this? Okay, okay, you guys probably can't see this. It's warped. The plastic is actually bent, so it's not sitting flat on the table. Oh, I really hope the wires fit. I always thought the wires were bent, but now in this case, it is the plastic that's bent. Oh, these wires almost look like they were bent, but no, it is good. And in the last videos that I was editing, I noticed that I did not see some of the wires on the sides that were pushed out, so uh, it's actually hard when you're trying to make a video in a certain amount of time, and you don't want to waste time, you know? So you try to rush. I'll try this time to take it a little bit easier. All right, set that up, set the sides up. So let's get the sides out. I believe they are these ones because the other ones look too big. Now I need to make sure that these line up correctly. That snapped in okay. Looks good. Oh no. Why, 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 why? When everything looks like it's starting to work. There we go. Making sure that's in there still. Yep, yep. All right. So far, so good. Next, it looks like we have a platform. Oh, I didn't realize this one had a platform. I just want to make a note since I'm looking at this wheel right now. This wheel is six inches. For all of their cages, they came out with a six inch wheel, which is not good for Syrian hamsters because Syrian hamsters need eight, nine, or even 10 beyond, depending how big they're gonna get. So when you get a Syrian hamster, AKA teddy bear hamster, it's just a nickname, at the pet store, you are getting a baby Syrian. So they're gonna grow much bigger than what you expect. So this is not an adequate wheel. That's another negative about this cage. So let's hear how bad this wheel is or if it's even better than the other wheels. That is noisy. All right, so all the wheels tend to have this sort of problem with noise. So that wheel is probably gonna be replaced by you if it's driving you nuts at night if you happen to have this cage. All right, so first putting the rim in the little ledge here till it clicks, perfect. And then taking this, putting it right in there. Ooh, that was a lot easier than the other ones. And then let's see where it says it's gonna stick it. Ooh, jeez. All right, so it looks like we are gonna be sticking it right over here and sticking it on the second level. Wow, that is tiny. That is not really much of an improvement. There it is. It is the tiniest little ledge. It is so not needed. Look at this. That is ridiculous. Like, <laughs> 
why is it even there then? This is gonna be so claustrophobic in here. I didn't expect that we were gonna get a ledge, but we got a ledge. Oh, for a tiny cage, this is actually a very big water bottle. So the problem I have with this is that every time I squeeze it, every time I try to get air into it, it doesn't work. And people are telling me I'm either doing it wrong or that this bottle is actually complete garbage. The bottle nozzle is pointing down, which is the weirdest design, but for the past two bottles I've tried, they've all leaked. So let's test this one out as well. Uh-huh. 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 Uh-uh. Yeah. Alright, so the next thing is putting the water bottle here. Now I accidentally did it backwards. I think the tube is supposed to be over by the front and then the water bottle is supposed to be back here so you don't see it. But I'm just gonna do this topsy-turvy because I messed it up. So it looks it wants us to have this little hook all the way down here because the wires are so tiny. Why does the picture make it look like I need to have it right here? Because this doesn't make any sense. Uh-oh, we have a problem. I think I put that too low. Did I put it too low? I might have put it too low. That doesn't seem right. No, no, no. Okay. <sighs> Frustrating. This water bottle frustrates me. I don't know why I'm having the hardest time trying to put this water bottle on, but this water bottle frustrates me to no end. Alright, that was painfully annoying, but I got the water bottle on, which is so awkward because it's so low inside of here. I don't know if you can see that. You'll probably see it when the hamster's actually inside of it, but it's so low to the ground. But at least they're able to access it if it was a good water bottle. It's not. Alright, so now it's time to put on the wheel. So it looks like the wheel is just gonna go right back here. I'm gonna put it on this one. So there we go. Try to keep it snug and in place. It looks like we are going to be doing this now with the tubes and it looks like we're gonna be connecting it to the little loft upstairs. Look at this. This tube popped on perfect. I think the hardest tubes were the rocket ship tube followed by the castle tube. The castle tubes I took a while trying to assemble. At least with the rocket ships I did assemble them, it was just hard and it hurts, but this one's very easy. All right, so it looks like it wants us to put it on this side here. So I'm just gonna pop this out and then it's gonna go inside like that. There. How nice and claustrophobic this is becoming. All right, before the loft even gets built, it wants me to put all the tubes for the loft part together. So let me just set this aside real quick since the tubes are a lot. We got these tubes here. We got this really tiny tube. Tiny little baby tube. This is very hard plastic or a different type of plastic and it feels like a toy, it really does. And it looks like it opens up here so you can access the loft. However, coming in at that angle might not be good. I don't know how high this is if we're coming up here or if we're just coming in the side. The sides are a lot better because the prey animal doesn't think you're out to get it. However, always approach cautiously with an animal even if it's your own. All right, and then the last tube is this tube. So it looks like it wants me to attach the tiny tube to the big tube here. So let's do that. Snapped on so easy. Popped on easy and then it looks like this one now. What do you know? Easy peasy. So it looks like it wants us to attach this to this here. Let's see if this can go in easy. You see how easy that is? Although this is a lot more work than say setting up a fish tank, putting bedding in, hides, things like that. You literally have to unassemble and reassemble these tubes when you have to go to clean it. Another thing that people keep holding off is the cleaning for their animals. You don't want them living in filth, but if you dread taking these on and off and building this up all the time, this cage is not good for you and it's not good for your animal. All right, setting the cage aside, it looks like it is time to start setting up the top part. So it looks like we also have a side entryway too, I think. You just unhook it and open it up. So that's good that there's that, but the opening is very small. You want something a little bit bigger because you want to be able to interact with your hamster. But if you're not provided the room to interact with the hamster, every time you go to stick your hand in there and if you do happen to get bit and or scared the hamster, it's not a good experience for you and or a child. So they're gonna start losing interest in a hamster really quick if you're not able to get your hamster in and out safely. I think it's working. Wait, is that completely in? Nope, it's not. <laughs> there 
go. I had to hammer it in. There we go. All right, so we took the top part out. It wants us to pop it in and latch. So let's just line all the holes up, push down so it hooks. There we go, that side's hooking. Now this side is hooking, yay, okay. So now that I'm looking at the little loft area up here, it's quite tiny. It looks a lot bigger on the box. I literally thought that we had a chance with this loft to add some really cool things to it, but it looks like you can't really add a lot of things to it. But I think I'm gonna try my best to add some stuff in here to make it seem like you're using this as a hamster cage, but I'm not gonna keep this cage. And the finishing touch, the top, so. I think that's locked in now. What do you know? It looks like you can have your little toys and figurines in here and play house now. Just with this, just with the top. That's all you need. So here we go. Gotta fit this on correctly. It's kind of hard when the tube's already on. Ah, ah, okay, second cage I made safe. First one, the hexagon one, not safe. Second one, castle one, made it safe. This one is safe. Now, even though it has an added top feature, it still is not the greatest cage, but let me put my little foster hammy Hershey in here and see what you guys think of how she handles this cage. I'm gonna try to keep Hershey as safe as possible in this cage. So if I see that she's going up these tubes, I'm gonna stop her because she is way bigger than these tubes. I know hamsters, they're really good about wiggling through things, but they can get stuck. It is very scary trying to take apart these tubes, even though these tubes were much easier than the other tubes I've had to deal with. I am worried sick that I might accidentally injure her or she might get freaked out or something's gonna happen. So if she cannot get through these tubes, I am not gonna force her to get through these tubes. And plus, I bet you she's smart enough not to go inside something she cannot fit in. And I don't think she's gonna get to it, but I'm gonna try to set up the bottom to see if she will like it. Because somebody was telling me I need to add bedding to it. So let's add bedding. Even though hamsters, they only last a couple years, up to about two to 2.5, depending on the species, you still want to provide it with the right size enrichment and enclosure. You shouldn't just stop investing money in a hamster because it's not gonna live long. It's like saying that to your child, hey, you're not gonna live much longer. I'm not gonna invest in you. Or if you say that to your parents when they get old and gray, hey, I'm not gonna invest any money into you. I'm gonna push you off into a nursing home. Bye-bye. I mean, you want to provide a good life because you love the fact that you're taking care of something. I mean, that's why you have a hamster, right? Because you love taking care of it. Not just because it's cool looking or anything like that. It's because you really generally want your hamster to do well and you want to take care of it like it was your little baby. That's what I like doing. And you want to provide at least three inches of bedding for your hamster to make a burrow. I cannot add any hides in here. This is like the only hive, but the problem is because these hamsters are nocturnal, they don't want light shining in their face. You know what this is right here? This is all see-through. That's not a really good place to provide protection and comfort for your hamster as they sleep. They're just gonna see a bright light in your room every time you go in and out and or if you stuff this cage by a window, which is not recommended. Please do not stuff cages by windows. So I think that's all the bedding I wanna add right now. It's definitely not three inches. Actually, the front looks like it's three inches. The back I'm trying to keep low because there is that wheel right there. That's the problem, I'm just trying to make it so the wheel can still spin. It's time to stuff Hershey in here. All right, so you just saw Hershey in in this disastrous cage. And you were probably surprised to see that she is such a big hamster. She is 213 grams. She is very thick and extra large when it comes to a hamster. So her being inside this really made her panic. She was the first hamster that actively left. However, when I put her up here, even though she wasn't able to get through the tubes, I put her up there to see how she would react. And as soon as I locked that door, which I felt really bad for, she started to panic and then she tried to go down the tubes if you guys saw I quickly stopped that's because she got her head stuck in there and I was afraid that she was going to start panicking if she couldn't get
get it out, but thankfully she did get her head out. However, if she were to have gone down the tubes like that, that probably would have hurt her. So if a child who has a large hamster decides, hey, I'm going to just be ditzy, I'm gonna put my hamster at the very top since I see she doesn't use it all the time and maybe not understand why, and then put her in there, she might not be able to get down the tubes. I also noticed another thing too with these latches. They're extremely loud when you're trying to lock it and unlock it. I accidentally startled when I tried to get Hershey out of the loft part here. I disturbed her and she flinched. She really flinched when I tried opening it up because it's so loud. This is the house of horrors. This is not a comfy house. Which one of you out there that said that this was a comfy house? This is not a comfy house. It's a torture device for hamsters. Please do not buy it. And I really advocate for you guys to please do your research for updated research and hamster care. And especially for hamsters such as Hershey because there are going to be some hamster owners out there that don't understand how big Syrian hamsters get. By the way, they're not called teddy bears, they're nicknamed teddy bear, and they're not called panda hamsters because that's not a, <laughs> that's not a species, all right? This is a Syrian hamster. And they come in many different colors. They are very unique. People don't understand that they can have different coat types. They can have satin hamsters. You can have all sorts of different hamster combinations out there. And they're so gorgeous. I love these guys so much. But look at Hershey right here. She is a huge gal. She's very big compared to the average hamster. So I hope you guys, after seeing this, will have some thought into how you house your small animal. And hopefully you will sign the petition down below even if you do work at say Petco or PetSmart or places where they sell these terrible things, you are still allowed to sign your signature. PetSmart's not gonna fire you and if they fire you over signing a petition, then they are breaking the law. So don't be afraid to speak up for these guys and for unsuspecting kids and parents who don't know better but think they are doing good for buying their animal something such as this. Also, the final verdict was this cage is bad. It's bad, don't buy it, I won't recommend it. And if you have a Syrian hamster out there that's wondering what you're supposed to be putting your hamster into, what I recommend is 40 gallon breeders or bigger. However, 40 gallon breeders are very heavy and they don't fit on everything. There is the Preview 528 cage on Amazon, beautiful cage. Usually it can average anywhere from $50 to $70. Right now it's in the $60 range, but you can get it for much cheaper if you're paying attention and bin cages that are the appropriate size. Like anything above 116 quarts or more is okay. Uh, usually I get the 27.5 or the 29 gallon bin cages from Target. And before I forget, let's measure and see how big this thing is. 16 by, I wanna say 16 by 10. All right, 16 times 10. How much is that, guys? 160. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did like the video, even though it's a bad cage review, if you like what I'm saying in here, please hit like to share your support. Comment down below with anything you'd like to say. And if you'd like to see more hamster-related content from me, get to stay up to date about this foster hammy here, seeing if she's ever gonna find her forever home out there, then please hit the subscribe button and become a part of our Munchkin family. And I'll see you along with, hopefully, Hershey. Don't freak out there. <laughs> in the next video. Bye-bye!